hi one and all so um i wanted to update a bit on if you saw it if you remember this saga um was um i think did i make the video about it in april I, it happened in april there was i'm not going to go too deeply into it because i don't want to be triggering to anyone who was uh, experiencing you know um any form of assault but it was uh, basically an assault at the hospital by a patient, uh, by one of the other patients. So um, the brief of what happened afterwards was that it was treated like it was like it really just didn't matter in any way. They couldn't figure out why I was even upset. Some of them were like, "Why are you upset?" And uh, even though they knew exactly what had happened, treated like uh, well, they didn't do anything to protect me afterwards. They didn't try to transfer me. They didn't try to uh, transfer him. They didn't try to put him on guard. They didn't. They tried at some point after, um, not right away, when I complained bitterly. I complained bitterly and I said I wasn't going to take my meds for the night because I didn't want to get drowsy and lose my focus of being able to be alert. I wanted to be alert in case he came back into my room. After that, they tried to find a night guard and there was someone for the night, um, but then not in the day. So at least I was able to sleep. Um, and then when I complained about the complete lack of motivation, to uh, protect me, um, the hospital uh, was in favor of the staff in saying that they did what they could with what they had. I didn't think that was true. Uh, I didn't think it was true. They did not do what they could have done with what they had. They did not. Um, so I went to the ombudsman. And uh, so the ombudsman is basically the person, the, 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 the people who are in charge of the safety of those who are at certain hospitals under their, their care. They are not affiliated with a hospital other than the fact that they protect the people there. When I first met, brought it up, um, they, uh, they apparently referred to the notes of the staff. And by referring to those notes, they saw nothing actually uh, cru crucial about what happened. So they put my case to the end of the list. And they referred to the notes the staff made. It wasn't in there. They didn't care that much to put it in, apparently. Um, so, um, what they said was, uh, something about how they did what they could afterwards, but then she said, when she finally contacted me, like, five and a half, six months later, um, she said, um, um, you know, uh, we know that they took care of it afterwards, after the fact, but beforehand, we were, we were just we were going to find out if, um, there was something else that could have been done to, to know that something was in danger. And I said, well... That's great and all, but they really didn't do anything afterwards either. And she was quite surprised because the, 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 the staff wrote down that they did. And uh, when she actually heard what actually happened from my words, from the actual event of um, following him coming into my room, which I won't describe afterwards. Because, um, whatever. Um, so she was quite surprised. She was shocked. And she said um, she seemed remorseful when she said that she put my case to the end of the list because she was prioritizing what she thought was more important, which I'm sure there were important cases too, but mine was quite important. And she didn't realize that until quite later, and they prioritized it, and they got, they got through the case pretty quickly within a few weeks, whereas usually it would take months. And in the end, they came out siding with me in saying that it was an assault, and that the staff were very... Um, they did virtually nothing that they could have done, and she underlined all the things that they could have done that they simply didn't, or that they took longer to do, or that they waited until I complained and said I wouldn't take my meds. They favored my my side of the argument, and they are going to make the hospital um, uh, commit to certain changes um, in order to protect people in the future from anything like this happening, and not to not to treat these things like they don't matter. Treat them like they actually have relevance and that it's consequential to the person that lived it and make sure that the person can't do it again. Um, and apparently they knew in advance that this person was a danger to themselves and others. They knew before this happened to me. And apparently they didn't care enough to make sure it didn't. Um, even though I was complaining about his behavior before this happened. Another thing that I found really interesting in the report that she, the, the person from the, the ombudsman brought up was that Apparently, although this hospital um, promotes the fact that they're very, uh, that they protect the, the, the people, that they, they care about our well-being and our safety, guess who are the only people who are protected at that hospital? The staff. They get to be behind locked doors with windows, keep us from spitting on them and hitting them and beating them up or like taking their scalp or whatever. But they leave us in the same environment and they also they have rights. So if we verbally assault them, 
if we attack them, there are consequences, and we will be held to those consequences. But what about if they hurt the patients? If a patient hurts a patient and we have no way to escape from them because we don't have those same locked doors and glass windows. We have zero rights to protect us. Nothing. There are no rules, no regulations saying that we cannot be abusive to each other. Baffling. Clearly, they really do care about our well-being in print and not much further. So they, that needs to change. And uh, what happened to me, maybe um, I, I thought for a while, you know, maybe it doesn't matter because clearly they didn't think I mattered. If it had happened to someone else other than Melissa, maybe it would have been consequential. But if it was Melissa, maybe it just didn't matter. And I felt like I was very discarded and disposed of. And um, it wasn't okay. So uh, I'm glad that I went through this. I'm glad that they did this, uh, went through this, uh, the, the, the investigation and that they found out what legitimately happened and that they're going to put things into place that will keep this from happening again in the future and make sure that this is taken seriously enough to act on immediately without fault. So that was the update about this. Um, thank you for listening. And I'm hoping that's the last time I have to bring it up. I, I well, I'm going to add the brought up police report, but the only consequences that I could really bring, seeing as he didn't, he was stopped before it went further, um, was uh, what was already done, which was the permanent police record. So he has a permanent police record within Quebec. And uh, that's um, I, there wasn't much more that I could do, so I let that go, but I just went through the hospital complaint. So that um, pretty much wraps it up. That's what happened in... Um, the update in terms of what happened uh, at the hospital in April. Take care, guys. I want to just express a fondness for you guys and your comments and your, 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 your caring about what I say and um, how I'm dealing with things. I appreciate it. So that'll be my leaving note.